Enzalutamide uh, is an androgen receptor um, antagonist and it is a very interesting um, approach now to breast cancer that um, really stems from some of the work uh, with enzalutamide and its subsequent approval in 2012 in prostate cancer. In uh, breast cancer, there's a lot of interest in the androgen receptor, which is present in about 75% of breast cancers, both in the triple negative and the um, hormone receptor positive uh, group of breast cancer. So the trial um, that's being presented um, is a trial looking at the hormone receptor positive patients combining exomustane with enzalutamide um, and randomizing patients to this as a placebo controlled trial. They're going to have two cohorts that they look at, a group that's had one prior endocrine therapy for advanced disease and another group that's chemo um, and endocrine naive for advanced disease and they're combining 160 milligrams of enzalutamide with uh, 50 milligrams of exomustane. Um, there is some data from a prior phase one trial that looked at the clearance um, of exomustane based on the fact that both of these drugs are in the CYP3A4 pathway, um, showing that exomustane uh, was cleared down to, to about 40%. And so the trial is looking at uh, 50 milligrams of exomustane per its prescribing. Um, so it's interesting when we look at the androgen receptor, there's a lot of data, and certainly with the aromatase inhibitors, um, the androgens uh, via aromatase are converted to estradiol and estrone. So it makes sense when you're combining an aromatase inhibitor and impeding this aromatase enzyme that you would get an increase in androgens. And so this is really what the background is behind the trial in terms of now combining an androgen receptor um, antagonist in combination with the aromatase um, inhibitor exomustane in this particular trial.